you must watch Jim Learning's and Tim Stiles' Route 66 film. It's fantastic. Part 2. This time we knew exactly where the 8 foot section of old Route 66 was. Last time through it took a chance encounter with a waitress and half the morning to find it. The Blue Whale of Catoosa, one of my favorite places on 66. Built as an anniversary gift by Hugh Davis in the 70s, we shot it for our book shortly after its restoration in 99. It still looks good. We spent the afternoon with two of my favorite Route 66 experts, Jim Ross and Shelley Graham. It amazes me, uh, you know, I keep waiting for, for this whole craze to hit a plateau and level off and reach a point where people are just sick of hearing the, the phrase Route 66, but uh, it's not happening. And I, I, I now believe it's not going to happen. I think, I think people today look at Route 66 or, or, or regard Route 66 almost like they would a, a national park or a national monument. It's become so ingrained in the lexicon that people are now, you know, it's, it's like you say, well, someday I want to go to Yellowstone or someday I'm going to do uh, Disney World. It's, it's like that with Route 66 now. It's, 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 I think it's here to stay. Well, I remember um, someone, I had an acquaintance who did a, a video documentary on a place in St. Louis that didn't exist anymore, and that was Gaslight Square. And I said, well, God, if they can do a documentary about a place that doesn't exist anymore. Well, maybe I can too, you know? Well, let's do it. So I went looking for a filmmaker. I'm trying to think if that was like in 2002. And I went after the same grant that they did. And so they were kind of coaching me on, you know, whatever. And we didn't know it, but I, they loved our idea of doing the a Coral Court Motel documentary and it was great that you know I already had a book and I already had contacts with people and so I had a, a really cool filmmaker in St. Louis, Bill Bull. Uh, he didn't want to be paid <laughs> for his services and he just you know was passionate about it like I was and so we went ahead and started. It was hard to get people to go on camera and talk about the Coral Court Motel because of its wonderful past. You know it had um, ladies of the evening and affairs and you know all kinds of good and, and family and g-rated stories too but it was cool and we found out a lot more stuff for the documentary you know even more things than when i did the books i was like oh my god anyway you know i found out there was a tunnel that went you know the back of one of the closets of the motel back beyond the swimming pool and that was for you know important people who wanted to leave without being noticed. This was my fourth time to the Oklahoma City bombing memorial. First time was only six months after the bomb had happened, and the last two times were in its current finished state. It's one of the most beautiful and moving examples of a monument built to the loss of lives, and it's something I think everybody should go and visit.